Hello artists! Today in art we're going to be learning about the artist Tyree Guyton. He is a Detroit artist who I actually got to meet a couple of years ago. Pretty cool. He, I saw, I heard him speak one time at a conference probably about maybe eight to ten years ago and then a couple years ago I went to Heidelberg Street in Detroit because I wanted to see what it was all about and I got to actually meet him there. So um, I'm not sure how much of the, his art is on the street at this point. I know some things were being changed, um, but I'm not sure. I haven't been there in a little while. So it might be something you could check out with your family at some point. Magic Trash, a story of Tyree Guyton and his art by J.H. Shapiro and illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. A winter chill whooshed down Heidelberg Street. Young Tyree Guyton buttoned his coat. Pop! His last button flipped into the gutter. He dove after it and then dug through frosty leaves. He pried a popsicle stick from the ice. He hoisted a bicycle wheel off the curb. He scooped up a baseball cap buried in the snow. Pockets clang clanking, Tyree darted home, a home on the east side of Detroit that already bulged with 10 children. Shop around, Tyree sang along with the radio as he unloaded the day's finds. His mama didn't earn enough money sewing and cleaning to buy new shoes, much less bikes and balls. So he zapped fun into amazing junk that others tossed away. Popsicle sticks became boards to build a house. The cap soared like a rocket ship. The wheel bounced, spokes jumping, dots danced. Let rockets fly, boards tower high, bounce, jump, and dance magic trash. Tyree barely heard the thump, thwack of his brother's games while he dreamed up designs. In school, he sat alone, drawing pictures. When his report card arrived, his aunt asked, Is Tyree dumb? Maybe crazy, his mama whispered. Then one sunny day when Tyree was nine, his grandpa Sam, a house painter, plopped a brush into his hands. Paint the world, grandpa said. Tyree dipped into Grandpa's cans of color, slashing purple, slapping yellow, aiming his brush like a magic wand. Abracadabra, Tyree's shyness vanished. Sweet apples crunched when he glopped the red. He'd never seen Lake Huron, but now it splashed in a pool of blue. Like new, Grandpa said of a glistening ladder. Tyree smiled and swirled a shade of green. Other kids on his street giggled and razzed. Look at his green face. Ha! Green junk. Still, as Tyrene zoom, Tyree zoomed from bent bottle caps to rusty wheels, Grandpa Sam's words twirled in his head. I'm going to be an artist, Tyree said. His mama hung her head. That's not a job. He peered into Grandpa's twinkling eyes. Tyree clenched his brush. He would be an artist. Yes. Brush greens and blues on wheels and shoes. Slosh, slap, and splash magic trash. At age 12, Tyree squinted into spiraling smoke as National Guard tanks rolled down nearby Mount Elliott Street. All his life, neighbors had raced out of town to live in new suburbs. Now some who had stayed exploded in rage, like shaken bottles of Werner's ginger ale. Tyree gawked, teeth chattering. Rioters were burning buildings in his neighborhood. When he grew to be 16, Tyree too left the shapes and hues of Heidelberg Street to seek a new life. He marched as a soldier. He inspected cars at a factory. He doused fires as a firefighter. 
but he never forgot about painting his world. So he enrolled in art school to learn more about colors, lines, and designs. At last, Tyree bolted back home to Heidelberg. When he returned, though, his street had changed. Houses sat deserted, creeping with spirits of owners who had run away from the neighborhood. Tyree tripped over trash, lots of trash, and troublemakers lurked. They snuck into hollow houses. They even set fire to one. Woo! Spirits swirl, new troubles swirl, kick, burn, and hurl, magic trash. No, cried Tyree, not on this street. His mama still lived in the same home. Grandpa Sam painted pictures inside now. Tyree grabbed his brush and burrowed through rubbish. He cast spells on suitcases, toilets, and a slide trombone. Before the colors dried, Grandpa Sam hurried out to help. They painted a busted bus. They tied shoes to trees. They flung broken bikes and cast off tires on burned out buildings and forgotten yards. Their street sparkled. When trouble still sizzled in one discarded home, Tyree coated it in dots and squares of pink, blue, yellow, and purple, then perched a magenta watchdog on the porch. Dopey dealing thieves hustled from its view, chased away by bright paint and barking trash. Tyree named one home Dotty Waddy and another Fun House. Spying hungry, crying children, he dangled broken baby dolls on telephone poles and rooftops. Dolls sobbed with each puff of wind. Maybe now others would see. Bright colors flash, scared dealers dash, bark, cry, and swing. Magic trash. Some people squawked about the garbage. A few neighbors complained to the city. The mayor and his helpers stomped. Soon, bulldozers roared up to the project to crush every doll and board. You can't do that, yelled neighbors as dust swooped to the treetops. Get out of here, others screamed. Tyree's trash is beautiful. Tyree scrambled to snatch a few pieces. This is my art, he cried. But the dots and stripes and baby dolls lay bashed and smashed and still. Tyree rubbed his eyes. Grandpa Sam poked at piles. Old houses talk, some neighbors squawk. Crash, bash, and smash, magic trash. Art had filled Tyree, Tyree's and Grandpa Sam's lives. Now 93, Grandpa Sam had grown too old to help. Never stop painting, Grandpa said, squeezing Tyree's hand. And then Tyree stood alone with brushes, paint, and trash. He wasn't alone for long, though. We can help, neighbors called. Your colors and dots chased away those thieves. Together, they shoveled, swept, and hauled in new trash. Then after eight years of painting and rebuilding, neighbors heard wreckers screech a second time. Faces of God watched while the city crushed two more houses. No, Tyree yelled. Tyree and his neighbors were hopping mad. This street is ours, they said. We'll never quit. They marched downtown to tell their story to a judge and jury. The city argued that Heidelberg Street was a garbage dump. No, decided the court, it is art. Tyree's work survived. The next day, Tyree and his neighbors began anew, aiming their brushes like magic wands. Children sang as they hammered and spattered designs. Even former troublemakers returned, ready to rake, sweep, and build. United by trash, they cast a spell on the street, brightening their home for good. Word of Heidelberg Street spread far. It blazed across the air. Folks from Canada, Kenya, and Japan scurried to the neighborhood. They stared. Wow, look at that. Tyree waved his brush. Welcome.
In a warm breeze, dots danced, gleaming castoffs jingled and jumped. Let rockets fly, boards tower high, bounce, jump, and dance. Magic trash. Author's note, Magic Trash is based on the life and art of painter and sculptor Tyree Guyton. In 2011, the Heidelberg Project celebrated its 25th anniversary. These are pictures from my trip to Heidelberg Street. Now that we have listened to the story about Heidelberg Street, we're actually going to be making our very own house on Heidelberg Street. And we're gonna do that by creating little pop-out houses, a little pop-out sculpture. And this one looks like his Dotty Waddy house. And this one I made is my own idea. It's a rainbow house. So I'm going to teach you how to do that in the video, and I look forward to seeing everything that you make. I wanted to show you how to go about making the first cuts in your project um, to actually prepare the paper. So you just need a piece of copy paper or drawing paper. Um, drawing paper, because it's thicker, might work a little better. And then you're going to fold it in half like that. So it's like a card, you fold it in half. Now, this is the side that's folded right here. So I'm gonna put a little, little dot there so you can see, this is the fold. And in fact, I'll write the word fold. You don't have to do this, but I'll write it so you, so you know, that's the fold. You're gonna take a pencil and draw a line that goes about halfway across and then go down a little bit and draw another line that goes about halfway across. Take your scissors, cut on that line, and cut on that line. Open it up. Now you have this middle piece. You want this to pop out, so we're gonna fold, we're gonna crease it this way so it was creased the other way. We're gonna crease it this way now. And then we're gonna crease this part and we're gonna crease this part. I'm gonna put little lines there. I don't want you to do this, but I want you to be able to see where I'm creasing. So you can see there and there. So all I need to do really is I can take my finger, well, it might even be easier to go like this and just flip it and go like that and then this one I might even be able to just pinch it like that whatever works you just need to put a little crease in there then we're gonna kind of pinch it forward like that push it down so then it will kind of stand up like that like a house now we have the top layer of the house too. So what you're gonna do is leave this kind of folded, okay? That inside part is kind of folded. And just the top layer right here, you're gonna put another little line there and another little line there, okay? And not going through the bottom, I'm just going through the top right up here. You see, it? I'm kind of holding it there. And then I'm gonna cut one, two. And I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna pop out this part. 
so I just need to kind of pinch it a little bit right there at the top and pinch it at the bottom. I'm doing the same thing like what I did on the bigger part. And then you have your house that will stand up. And then you just kind of lay it back down and you're ready to start. And for my house here, I didn't use pencil at all. I went ahead and just did everything with marker. Um, you have some big areas, so you might not want to use your markers if you think they might dry out too much. You could use crayons, you could use colored pencils, it's up to you. But this middle part will be your house, and you get to design your own house on Heidelberg Street. So when I was there, I remembered seeing his house called the Dottie Waddy House, and I love it. it. It's filled with polka dots, and I just love it. But you can design your house any way you want. Use your imagination. It, it really, truly can be whatever you want. Um, if you have a black pen or Sharpie, that might be a way to start if you just want to get some details drawn in first. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to... It doesn't really matter where you start. I did like kind of tracing some of the lines. Oh, I went too far. Oh, well just because it kind of made it stand out a little bit more. And then I went back and you know like this is gonna pop out. So the top part here and this top part, that's gonna be a roof. So I can make the roof any way I want. I could make it something totally out of my imagination. I could make it look like actual shingles. It's just up to you, however you want to do it. I'm doing little curvy lines. You don't have to do that. That's just something I thought about adding to make it look kind of like a little cottage. My marker's kind of drying out. I must be drawing a lot with it, huh? Okay. So. After you figure out your roof, you want to think about what else you want to add. You know, you can add other windows up here. You could add, you want to think about the design. Um, I think I might, I might make mine kind of a rainbow house. I like rainbows a lot, and that would be kind of appropriate for me. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and then I still can think about windows, doors, Maybe a, um, stairs that lead up to the front door. These could be really long, tall, skinny windows. There might even be trees next door. So you wanna kinda of think about this is the line for the, between the ground and the sky right there. Here and here. So that's the horizon line where the sky meets the ground. And I could even put some trees in the background. Now this one, I didn't put trees. I had a fence that I drew when I put clouds and the sun. Maybe I want to make this one at nighttime when I could put the moon. And I could have little stars in the sky. Oh, and I forgot. I'm going to put a window up here. Um. And then I could create, if 
I want to have steps that lead up, I could create some steps. If I want to make a pathway or a sidewalk, I could do that. On my other one, it was more like a little stone pathway or polka dot pathway. So really, it's just up to you, however you want to do it. Um, there are, you can add all kinds of things to your house. You could add any kind of decoration to the outside of it. Be creative, use your imagination. When you're done, you're going to use whatever you have to color with at home. And you're gonna neatly color in all of the parts of your project. So you're coloring in the house, you're coloring in the ground, and you're coloring in the sky. So go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna keep coloring mine until I have the whole thing finished and I will be back in a couple minutes. I hope you had a great time learning about Tyree Guyton. I hope you check out more of his work and I hope you had fun making your own little sculpture of a house on Heidelberg Street. See you next time.